Okay, so for this, we need to shade these top shapes in, and each one has a certain direction. And so the square, we're going to use crosshatch. And so the square is this cube shape. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and put our light source on. And we're going to make the light bulb coming from this kind of far left side. Now, crosshatch. We have to pay attention to how this shape is made. This shape is made by verticals horizontals and diagonals and I've got to know that right and then once I understand that cross hatch is going to be perpendicular lines and so here's my light source so my shadow is going to go this way my cast shadow and I'm going to start off with a 6b and what I want to do is I'm going to build these individual lines really close together right on top of one another with a little bit of paper space maybe four to five lines once I have those in, I'm going to switch it to a 4B. Same thing. And then I'll switch to my 2B. Each time, it's getting a little bit lighter because the pencil already gets lighter, but I'm also starting to incorporate more space. And then finally, I'll go to my HB pencil because I can have these kind of middle tones and then I can go to somewhat of a light tone. Now once I have all these lines in place, what I want to do now is I'm going to do those perpendicular lines. And since I did vertical, the perpendicular would be the horizontals. So I'm going to go back to my 6B, but unlike going all the way across, I'm just going to create these lines with 6B just a little bit. And you can see, you can really see that crosshatch. Then I'll pick up my 4B and I'll extend these pencil lines a little further. It's okay if they're not exactly even. And then I'll grab my 2B, extend just a little bit. And then finally I'll finish off with my HB. So the top we're going to do exactly the same, except for now I have to drop the, hor uh, the vertical because the shape isn't made by horizontal. I mean, sorry, vertical, it's made with the diagonal. So again, I'll start with my 6B at the beginning. Kind of put these lines really close together at the start. Then I'll go to my 4B, eventually switching to my 2B. And then finally ending with my HB. And then the, kind of like how I did the horizontals down here, I'm just going to create these little dashes and then I'll extend those dashes as I move out. So each time I'm picking up from just going through the pencil orders and then finally ending on my HB. So then on this front side what do we do about that, right? So it's going to have to have the highlight, and so the highlight's going to be just that white intense spot. So I'm going to draw a super, super soft, this oval. And then I'm going to do crosshatch as well. So I get to go back with verticals, but don't draw through that oval. I'm using the 2H because it's the lightest one. We're just putting a little bit of hint of value there. And then I'll go with the diagonal since this is how this side of the shape is made. And again, the diagonals don't draw through the oval. So we finish it. And then obviously the cast shadow, we can use our 6B and kind of finish that off. 